Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Gemini October 30, 2022. Jupiter returns to your solar second house today, bringing your attention to boosting your income or self-confidence. While Jupiter has recently blessed this area of your solar chart, it moved on in May. Returning now and staying until December 20th, lessons and benefits resume with money, earnings, possessions, and personal talents. It's a fabulous time for building on existing resources, a business, or a project and enjoying the rewards of your past efforts. It can be a period of elevated confidence in yourself to manifest your desires. Until November 23rd, Jupiter remains retrograde, making it an excellent time to reassess how you're doing in these areas. Today, pouring your heart into work or a money-making project can be especially rewarding and successful. You're motivated to get your life into better order or to sharpen your skills. The seas are parting like a biblical story today as our great benefic returns to the oceans of Pisces. This will continue as a trend for the rest of the year. Here, as mighty Jupiter revisits this realm, you are being given a chance to reinvigorate spirituality into your personal and romantic life. Consider what you believe and discuss this with your one and only. If you'd like to reconnect with someone you loved in the past, Jupiter's retrograde motion can help empower this for you at this time and open the doorway to a renewed rapport. How have you improved your communication skills over the last few months? During this time, Jupiter retrograde in Aries has encouraged you to take a step back before letting your gumption or frustration get the best of you in conversation. Hopefully, you feel more assertive and less aggressive by now. Luckily, your attention shifts to your values, finances, and property when Jupiter retrograde enters Pisces today. Now in Pisces, you may benefit from focusing on financial opportunities that will feed your soul and your bank account. However, expect some potential delays with the expansion of your abundance. In a case of perfect timing, just as Jupiter spends his first full day back in your income sector a friendly aspect between the asteroid Juno here and Venus, the planet of money in your career sector peaks. This is the first sign of what is set to become a growing partnership between new career and untapped income potential. Because you can see what needs to happen for the good of humanity, that is a special gift you possess doesn't mean that you are the one to do it. Center yourself and all your insights with a regular exercise practice, and you will be in a better position to help the world you live in. Yoga is a wonderful resource. The more you go the greater the benefit. Don't worry about getting in shape. Instead, focus on breathing and connecting to positive energy. You are entering a phase when you will be taking stock and sifting through things, and starting a new cycle. You're going to start fresh and undertake a trip, if possible, or a new job. In the weeks coming up, there will be some changes that are heavy to bear but you will rapidly be in the saddle again. Stay active and involved and very soon the situation will work itself out, most notably in your sentimental life. While you are waiting, take care of your liver. If Jupiter's first full day back in your income sector is anything to go by then there is a lot to be excited about. While Jupiter himself is not doing anything and instead a chance to adjust to having the planet of luck and expansion back on board, it is what is happening around him that is cause for excitement. It is a friendly aspect between the asteroid Juno here and Venus, the planet of money in your career sector that is the first of many that over the coming weeks will bring the new doors opening on the career front and those opening to the past on the income front together. In his last full day in an adventurous part of your chart, Mercury is not only working to keep the spirit of adventure alive but is supporting Mars in his final days in direct motion in your romantic sector. A friendly aspect two days ago is separating but there is still a strong mix of romance, passion and adventure in the air as the doors prepare to open to the past and second chances. Our eyes in the sky. You have to dig in your heels with the astrological aspects of this day. The Sagittarius moon heightens the intensity and adds a lot of personal pressure to succeed and perform. The name of the game right now is your feelings being on display for the whole world to see, 
with a major chronic feeling of judgment showing up seemingly out of nowhere. Neptune's fresh outlook in the area of romance and partnership gets some fireballs from an enlightening square to the lunar body, and your dating life could experience some very steamy developments almost immediately. There might be some progress in your social life. Just be careful not to lose your head. This could even bring some influential connections and messages that pop up out of the blue. Someone has you on their mind, and they aren't letting up. For many, Neptune's energy creates an obsessive quality that can be difficult to explain unless you've been through it before. Soulmate and twin flame connections are really getting this on a level so deep it could be hard to get certain people out of your mind. These are tough transits for anyone going through an emotional affair, especially if a third party is involved. This could feel like utter hell. Remember that this is the season in which everyone is being asked to step into their personal power. If you're giving your energy to someone who doesn't reflect it back, they aren't the right person for you. In the pre-dawn hours, the Sagittarius moon trines Chiron in Aries. At this time, we see our past wounds, not as necessary to our journey of personal evolution, but as chapters in a story that is uniquely our own. Pain is never required for our growth. Navigating pain doesn't inherently make us better people. And yet, there is pain, and as we face it, we learn about ourselves. It may not be until years down the line, when we are sharing our story with someone, or helping them to address their own anxieties, that we become aware that our path of healing has a ripple effect on those around us. If we had not gone through our struggle, we would not be able to guide another in this moment. Who are you able to help today? To whom can you offer courage, hope, and inspiration because of your lived experiences? In the late morning, the moon sextiles Saturn in Aquarius, making us a rock for others. Our optimistic attitude uplifts and inspires, yet our dependable nature affirms we can be turned to in a time of need. We show our support through deeds and actions. If we require help, we can consult family, trusted advisors, and close friends. Guidance can be found in fleeting interactions. We may even receive messages from those who have passed on, 